All right, guys. So here's the thing. <clears throat> we got to start stop being freaking ballless Americans. All right. We have we have. They're slowly screwing us. Don't you understand that? They are. We're going to cash the society. They're going to take this crisis that they manufactured, of course, and they're going to slowly do all this bullshit. I want you to think about this. Is where it stops. Okay. We murder 663,000 children a year, okay, in this country. They don't give a shit about me and you. We already know that when the governors, uh, some kind of a protocol that they have, that they put all the COVID patients with the freaking old age facility and let them all die. If you have COVID, they send you home with your family? What, so you could spread COVID to the rest of your family members? Come on, you guys. Here's your freaking head. These people ain't stupid. We're stupid. So... I've already had COVID-19. I'm alive. I, I can't catch it. I have antibodies. I can't carry it. I can't sneeze it on someone. I can't have, I can't give it to anyone. I'm not wearing a mask. The cops come up to me, I'll kick them right in the balls. I'm not going to put up with it. They're not going to tell me to stop. I don't give a shit. If special agents came to my house, I'll kick them right in the nuts. That's it. That's what I'll do. If they come to my house and force me to wear a mask, kicking them in the balls. That's it. That's where I'm at right now. Okay? I don't give a shit no more. And guess what? I have the money to get myself out of the bullshit. They have no right to tell me what to do, period. I'm not wearing a mask. I don't have to wear a mask, okay? And you Americans, if you don't get your shit together, we need to disobey them. Don't you understand? Disobey them. Quit obeying them. <clears throat> okay, they pass a law. Your child has to be molested by the nearest freaking congressman. Oh, man, we got to let our kids get molested by the congressman because they passed a law. Bullshit. Bullshit. So who gives a shit about laws? I don't obey any single freaking law that's against the Constitution, period. You don't obey them. It's like, my friends in the gun industry, oh, you know, I'm kind of worried to invest in this and that. I might take an AR-15. No, no, they're not. They come to your, your door, you freaking hose them down. That's it. They come to take your guns away, you hose them down. If enough of us do that, they will stop. Don't you understand? What is wrong with you? Our forefathers would have kicked. The, our forefathers would have washed in, walked into Washington, bitch slapped every single politician, bent them over the knee, kicked the shit out of them, and threw them in freaking prison. You guys are a bunch of freaking knuckleheads. Don't you understand? If we, what are they gonna do? Right? We're a heavily armed nation, right? If I, if we wanted to, we could. Have, let's just say that our mayor and our, our chief of police, and he, they're not like this, but let's say our mayor and our chief of police is like, you're gonna get a vaccine in your arm with a chip or we're gonna put you in prison. We assemble a couple thousand people with firearms. We go there, do we take the butt stock of our gun, we kick the shit out of them. What are they gonna do? They're banking on your stupidity. They're banking on your cowardness. No one tells us what to do. We're America, don't you understand? You don't let a bunch of freaking jackasses that wear suits and a tie control your freaking life. You just don't. What's wrong with you people? You know, I had an ATF age, I was audited, but I had, I had agents in my building. Ladies telling me I was a drug dealer because I had a $147,000 car on my front, in front of my building. And I said this, you better shut your damn mouth, right? And she's like, yeah, 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 running her mouth. I said, you know what? You don't even know who you're screwing with. Oh yeah, who do you think you are? Blah, 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 blah. Going up. I had the freaking Congress write a letter from the oversight committee. She had to call and apologize. She almost lost her damn job, you guys. That's right. That's right. A lot of you people, what you need to do is form some freaking groups and give some money to some of these damn politicians. Politicians will get you out of anything if you freaking give them money. It's sad that we're, 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 that's where we're at. But these lobbyist groups, that's how our country's getting shit. We need to have the people's lobbyist group. We freaking lobby these assholes to do their damn job. Uh, we're just in so much trouble. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm just so sick of it. I'm sick of guys with no balls. No balls. I'm sick of it. Ballless men. Ballless men. Women have more balls than you. Freaking sad. Here's the thing. I'm not getting a vaccine. All right? You know what a vaccine? This, this is what I say to a vaccine. You ready? There. This is what I say to a vaccine. See that? That's a five freaking seven. You come and give me a vaccine. See that? That's what you're getting. This is called lead, right? This is what you get. If you force a vaccine on me, I don't have to get a vaccine. The Bible tells me this, no chipping, none of this bullshit. I'm not doing it. I don't have to. I don't care if the Supreme Court, low life scumbags at the Supreme Court. I don't care if the Supreme Court makes a law and says that we have to do it. I'm not doing it. Don't you understand? You better bring an army to my house because I'll tell you what, 
I have more weaponry than the military. So you come to my, well, not as much as them. I don't have a freaking tank or anything. But you guys come to my house, force a vaccine on me, to take my AR-15s or M16s away, you're getting lead. That's that's it. I'm promising you that right now. I'm putting it on, on Facebook. Okay? Anyways, you guys, remember that name, Ed Mack.